Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus Christ, and all he has done for me, my very soul we shout, Hallelujah! Praise God for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my very soul we shout, Oh, sing hallelujah, amen, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, amen, amen, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, oh. Sing hallelujah, 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 amen, God bless you all. You are welcome to this ministration tonight. The mighty hand of the Lord is going to touch you. The glorious hand of God is going to heal you. The powerful hand of God is going to move in your life. The joy of the Lord will remain your strength. The glory of the Lord will steer you. And His power and anointing and anointing will move you ahead. And you have every cause to say, What a mighty God I serve. Heaven and earth are done him, even the angels bow before him. You have every cause to say, I love this man of Calvary. I love Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I love the ancient of the days. For unto him alone be our glory. Dominion and thanksgiving power purpose in Jesus' name. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Let thy glory be above all the earth. Father, let thy glory be above all the earth. As we gather here today, O God, Father, speak to us this evening, O God, let thy word come forth. The Bible told me that your word is sharper than two edges sword. Let thy word pierce through right now and break forth asunder every nonsense. Father, the Bible, the word of God told me that your word make it everything new. Father, let there be renewal on that man, on that woman, on that boy, on that girl tonight in Jesus' name. Let there be a divine visitation. Let there be a divine miracle of the Lord. That the mighty hand of the Lord will come upon you. That shall be renewal. That shall be divine visitation. As the glorious hand of God will come your way. And Jesus alone shall be glorified, magnified, and worshiped, praised, and honored in Jesus' name. Speak to us, O Lord. Heal, save, and deliver. May we be renewed and may we come back to you again. May we examine ourselves and know if we are still in faith. And Christ Jesus shall be honored for unto him be all the glory forever. In Jesus' wonderful, glorious, and excellent name we pray. Amen. It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well with you and shall ever be well in Jesus' name. God bless you. The word of God is coming forth. How are you doing today being Monday? Most of you have gone out. I know you have transacted a lot of businesses. Some of you are waking up. Some of you are in their midday. God bless you. God bless you. Some of you are in their night as well. God bless you in the middle of the night. And we are here in our own evening. God will keep you. God will bless you. And his name shall be glorified in Jesus' name. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore him. Even the angels bow before him. To him alone we are the glory. Amen. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We are still on the series that says self-inflicted causes. Those things that somebody has done. He thought he has done it. If there has nothing, no, there's a repercussion in it. Bible pronounced those things woes. Bible mentioned woes to those things and somebody's busy already doing them. And when you're doing them, what do you think that will happen? You will meet the cause of the Lord. You will meet the cause of Jehovah. You, the word of God is forever settled in heaven. The word of God does not lie. There are a lot of things people that have done and they get away with them. But today what is happening, they are suffering it one way or the other way. And then it gets down to their children, 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 to the third generation. No matter, we are suffering from the one our father has done. We are prayed and deliver ourselves. What of you yourself? What of my very self? Are we going to do more that our children will be put in bondage and in chains again? No, 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 no. And that is why we begin to tell you those things. Today, 
is part 11. That's the 11 point of what you shouldn't do. All this thing that bring us is number one, number the one we're going to do today. When the title that said, Those that call evil good and good evil, those that call evil good, the people they know it is evil, they know it is bad, they know it is contrary, and they will call it good. Let's see what the Bible said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. I don't know if you have been calling evil good, you are you are sowing. A seed of this God. You're sowing a seed of destruction. You're sowing a seed that will swallow you. And the seed that will trouble your generation. Don't be like them. Don't be with them. And don't be among them. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. 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 Okay, we start from verse 20. Not to just 20. Isaiah chapter 5. Verse 20. Isaiah chapter 5. Verse 20, all right? Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Those that call good evil and good what evil. Those that call good evil and good what evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Oh my God. These people are wise in their own eyes. And prudent in their own side. Woe unto them. Okay. That are mighty to drink wine. Men of strength that mingle with drink. But let's concentrate on 20 and verse 21. The Bible said in verse 20 and 21. The Bible, the word of God said, Woe unto them that call evil good. And good evil. The people that call, uh, the, 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 Woe unto them that call evil what good. And good what evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Have you seen it? The Bible says, Woe unto them. God bless you for writing for me. It is well with you, man of God. It is well with you, uh, Pastor Paulinus. God bless you for writing for me. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The people that go opposite. The people that do the contrary. Look at during election. You know the man coming is a rogue. You know he has no good record. You know he's a thief. You know he's an embezzler. You know he has everything bad. But he come and give you money. You know he has been a murderer. He has everything negative and contrary. He said, no, no, you will go. You will be the one to go. You will be the one. You come and deceive people. For instance, in Nigeria, whenever the election is coming up, the politicians will come down. They will go to marketplaces and begin to give women 10,000, 10,000, 5,000, uh, mostly, uh, most, uh, highest 20, 20,000. You know, I love you people. Where have you been for four years? A thief is coming. An armed robber is coming. A murderer is coming. A destroyer is coming. You said, this man is a good man. This man is this. This man is this. And that is what put Nigeria in the problem we are today. The people, people trusted, reliable people, people that we felt that know the way. They were the people that gathered and told Nigerians, vote your president. If you do that, this will happen. So then what is happening? What do we have in return? These people deceived us. What do we have in return? Armed robbery, killing of our shoot, shooting, uh, a Boko Haram, kidnapping, very many evil is what we have today in place. In place, in place of good governance, in place of peace and joy and sanity, in place of a settled mind. People are run away from this place. Killing every day, destruction every day, a, 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 a full and enhancement every day, you know, everywhere. But this was a promise that was made. The person ruling, you are not doing it better. And even a, a, a man of God, so called, made a very mighty prophecy that the former president is evil is that is that i bring to you a new president he will be good and the, thank god the denomination of that man is seriously affected but the eyes of people have opened today you brought a bad man and call him good what did he give to you how much did he pay you perhaps a woe unto them they are cost cost is the man that call evil good and good what? Evil. 
There are people that don't like use their eyes to see good things. A lot of people are under course. Because they will see a preacher preaching, they will do one thing or the other. Why is he disturbing us? This and that. And they will see people of other religion. The people that are talking about Jesus of Nazareth, they want to quench them. They see people of other religion making blunder, destroying. They say, nah, it's, it's all right. It's the way of life. It's normal. It's normal. Woe unto you. If you're among the people that call good evil and evil good, why must you do that? In many elections, there are people that will be hired. And they know it is evil. They say it's good. One professor told me, and said, he's a child of God. He said, God should forgive him. He said that the mighty hand of grace should forgive him. That he was among the people that campaigned against the former president. And he was among the two that elected the new president. He said, but the destruction he had, he won't go to forgive him. We have called good evil and evil good. And warning was going on. And the great and the mighty warning was going on. Don't try that. Don't do this. God is not happy about that. He said, continue, continue, continue. Do what you are doing. Continue, continue. Chai. May the mighty hand of grace show us mercy. Uh, because you are not the one that did it. You are not the one that performed that good work. That's why I don't want to recognize it as good. There are a lot of things, a lot of posters, a lot of messages in the Facebook, even in the group where I belong. People will mess up. People will do blunders and post themselves. People say, oh, good work, continue. God forbid, God forbid. I don't want to be cursed. Before I say what you're doing is good, it must be biblical. It must be sound. It must be the word of God. It must be born of the spirit of God. May the mighty hand of God show us mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Children of God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Curse. Is that man, is that woman. That call good evil and evil good. The Bible won't for to say. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Ha. The light is that they came and quench the light. That's a good thing that is that they come and they will put good. Sometimes Nigeria was prospering. Some people came and privatized all our companies, almost all, and sold them off and said they would do better. Today, they are in the worst state. Worst, 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 worst in the state. I know this man. He will rule you very well. He is this, is that. When you know he's evil, when you know you call good evil and evil good, May God begin to deliver you. That's a seed you're going to sow. When you call evil good and good evil, God will remove the good and give you evil, evil, evil. When they have made a judgment, you are there. Instead of you to tell them the truth of everything, you come and begin to tell lies. You call good evil and evil good. What will happen? Death. Destruction. So come out of this type of course. Because you are not in Christ. You are not a seed of God. You are not a child of God. The Holy Ghost is not living in you. The glorious, majestic power of Christ is not living in you. If this power is totally living in you, there's no how you can call evil good and good evil. Why are there problems here and there? The problem is everywhere because so many people have seen evil. Hey! Especially during the election. You see people that have been bribed. They'll be giving money. Even in Christendom. Even in the political world, they will take money and say, this person is not a seed of God, is not a child of God. This person has no matter. Forget it, forget it. There's no problem. No problem. Uh, he will immature one day. He's not a leader, not a matured man. You know, the person is a thief. You brought him to your constituents and say, vote him, vote him, vote him. Because he's a close friend. Those that are very close to me, I'm always practical. They felt I hate people. I don't hate people. When I look at you, you are not mature for any post. I'll tell you. I'll first of all tell you, you are not mature. Don't go. But if you say I must go, cruise your people, I would, every strength I have, I will use it. Why am I doing all this so that we have better tomorrow? We have tomorrow. Corruption everywhere. Corruption everywhere. People are eating bribe. They bring wrong people into wrong office. Ah! How can you bring somebody that read mathematics as a single honor in the university? To come and control production of petroleum. 
when there are people that read astro, you know, other courses, geology. Why are we doing this? In my country, Nigeria, people will laugh. Say, go to university, read any course. Just read any course. What you read is not important. Let it be that you see the four wall of the university, you come and look for a job. Hey! It's only in Nigeria that somebody that doesn't know anything is made means of justice. It's only in Nigeria. Hey! That somebody that read agricultural science in the university is now made a contractor to uh, give him road to tie. Because I know him. Is he not my brother? Is he not my friend? Is he not my connection? Is he not by this and this? And people are dying. You're calling good evil. And you're happy. What is happening? It gladdens your heart the way people are dying. It gladdens your heart the way people, destruction is going on. They call light dark. Killings everywhere. Destruction everywhere. Why? Woe unto them. Remember we read Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. They don't like light. The Bible said this word, and they, they, this word, they don't like light. Because their deeds are what? But he said the light came into the world. But people hated light. You know, they hated light. They like darkness because their deeds are bad. They want to move deep into darkness. They want to move more and deeper into darkness. May the mighty hand of grace save us. May the mighty hand of Christ help us. Righteousness is not exhausted. No sin is a reproach. Group of people will gather and squash the money of the country. And they call good evil and evil good. It's only in my country that when you come out of fight corruption, the people who are corrupt will fight you back. There's uh, this group of men that are doing chipping business. If they load the chipping for you, by the time your chipping will leave the station and come to another station, they have caught and caught and caught a lot of chippings from your chipping. They have caught a lot of chippings. <laughs> they have caught a lot. You said this gravel is okay. When it was loaded, what happened to it? The driver and the conductor will make, ag make agreement and they will cut a lot of gravels out of it. And they sell it and make their money. So, this was what they were doing in that company. And they brought somebody who refused to take bribe. Who said, no, I'm not going to take bribe. I will stand on truth. They discover that is what they are living, living by stealing. They went a company will buy like 10, 20 trips. By the time they will do their own and do their own, they must have collected two trips, three trips from that. And that's how they make their money. They will come back and build one story, two story, three story building. He said, wow, why are these people making money? They are thieves. So that man stood his ground. Do you know what happened? They went and fought the signature of the man and committed blunder in the company with the name of the man. And they say it is you. They saw the signature. They vowed that they would remove the man there. With the evil tendency and the evil report of what they are doing, they took them away from that particular place. When the man left, they now had their ways back. They said, uh -huh. you, you, you fear that you can be on our way. You fear that you can stop us. Yes, we can now continue doing evil. Let me tell you something. Evil will it not override good forever. It is temporal. Truth is like a stone. It cannot decay. If you are among the people, they call light good. Uh, light, darkness, and darkness light. And you laugh. And you laugh. Uh-huh. If you you can get away with it, you can deny it from man, you cannot deny it from God. You can hide it from man, you cannot hide it from God. Repent! Say the truth! When people call good evil and evil good, they don't believe in truth. They don't believe in Jesus who said, I'm the way, the life, and the truth. Nobody can come to the Father except through me. That means they don't believe in Him. They don't believe in Christ who died. They don't believe in His resurrection power and grace. Child of God, this is a high time for us to rise. This is a high time 
for us to say, Lord Jesus, you are mighty, you are marvelous. This is a hard time for us to rise. I said, for how long shall this the darkness prevail over life? No. As far as you are there, child of God, you are the light of the world. And the Bible said, a building built on top of a hill is not hidden. Why are you hiding? Because you're calling good, even and evil good. They gave you something, you look, you look like this, it. Even in the church, sometimes when the pastor will be taking position, Dickens and Dickens say, some people will come and bribe him. A man of God will be bribed. He takes bribe. Somebody was bragging how he bribed the man of God. Man of God, let me tell you, if you're among the people that take bribe, child of God, woman of God, if you're among the people that take bribe, you look right, look left, nobody sees you. The same person that gave you that bribe will come and expose you. And say, hey, don't mind that man. He's a bribe taker. I've been giving him bribe. I've been giving him money. He has been taking the money. You bribe your boss with immorality. You're a married woman. You're a married woman. Then you, you go around messing up. You still come back and cook with the, the food. The, the food with the money you messed up with to your husband. Chai. That was, I didn't know what I was doing yesterday. I saw a glimpse. I saw just a clip. I said, do I watch this? And I owned it. I was looking at what was happening. A man visited his friend's house. Calling good evil and evil good. He visited his friend's house. And knock, knock harder. The wife of the friend came out tying towel. Thinking his children that come or whatever. Behold, he saw a man. So where's the husband? He said, my husband is in the bedroom. And the lady wanted to rush back because she was only tying to well. The man said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Please, can I only show you your nakedness? He asked the man, what, what is that supposed to mean? The man, said, I'll give you, the man said, I'll give you 100,000. He said, the man said, 200,000. He said, I'm a married woman for it. He said, I'll give you 300. In short, I'll give you 500,000. The lady began to change her mind. The lady said, eh, just my nakedness. You will not touch me. They said, I'm not touching you. Just show me your nakedness. I'll give you 500,000. The lady said, are you sure? Have you seen love of money? Are you sure? Are you sure? He doesn't know she's married woman again. What you do go, a man that just visited your husband friend. And the husband is inside though. You see the kind of generation we are into there. Calling good evil. There are people that have so walked in evil way that they, the evil they do is what they call good. Their heart has been corrupt. Their heart has been darkened. Their heart has been plastered with evil. And they only executing evil. May God show us mercy. May God show us mercy. It's all the lady, I want to see your nakedness. That is all I want to see. If you can just show me your nakedness, that is all. The lady said, are you sure? He said, yes. Are you sure? He said, yes. Are you sure? He said, yes. The lady saw her transfer the money. The lady was having her phone in the hand. Pian, 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 give me your account number. The man transferred the 500,000. The lady said, hmm, only my nakedness. So he said, yeah, that's what I want. The lady untied the towel facing the man. Hey! The man just look, look. The man said, no, 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 no. I didn't bargain with you that you're going to be, wear pants. You have to remove your pants. You have to remove your underwear. You have to remove everything. I will shout. Oh. He told the man, don't shout, don't shout, don't shout. Eventually, she removed her underwear. And showed the man. The man looked and looked and looked and said, okay, can I touch you? She said, no, no, no. That's not our agreement. Go, 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 go. Go, go. You can now go. Go now, go now. My husband is around. Go, 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 go. Since you have dropped the money, go. And the husband shouted from inside. The husband said, honey. The wife said, oh, darling, I am here. The man said, ah, you're talking to well. After who is that? The man said, oh. He said, he's your friend. He said, oh, my friend. Oh, my friend, how are you? The husband told his friend and said, I wanted to come to your hotel room. You know, you're having my money so that you don't run away with my money. The, the, the man said, no, 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 I cannot do that. You know, I'm a gentleman. Not when the man has seen the exposure of the husband, of the wife, I mean. Do you know what happened? Child, it's not good to commit sin. Do you know what happened? The man now told the, his friend, the husband to the lady and said, uh, you, my, your wife told me that you're in the bedroom. And I have transferred the money I am owing you, 500000 I have transferred it to the phone of your wife. They, he, he, she must have gotten the lot. The man asked the wife, eh, darling, have you gotten the lot? He said, a lot? Um, 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 a lot? Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 I got a lot. 
But she was confused, thinking that exposing her nakedness alone had fetched her 500,000. Chey! Calling evil good and calling good evil. May God deliver us. May God give us grace. May we stand on truth. Who has bribed you? Who has bewitched you? You are known for saying the truth before. But today you have tested this and tested that and tested that. You have tested in and out. You have tested it. You are now a liar. You are now a liar. May God deliver us. Who has bribed you? He has so given you money. No wonder the Bible says, bribe, cover the eyes of kings. Gifts, cover the eyes of the kings. May the mighty hand of grace be with us. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Ha! Yeah. These people are under course. They put sweet for bitter and bitter for sweet. Opposite. Wherever they go and see good things, they don't like it. It is only when it is contrary. It is only when it is wrong that they like it. Verse 21. We are unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. They are wise in their own sight. That's why they call evil good and call good evil. When they see any meaningful development, abominable things going on, they are against it. Child of God, may the mighty hand of God help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, God come down and manifest your power. Holy God, come down and manifest your presence. My daddy, come down and manifest your glory. Look at what the Bible said. He said they are wise in their own conscience. In the book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse 2. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 2. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 2. Every word of a man is right in his own eyes. Child. Every word of a man is right in his own eyes. But the Lord pondered the heart. The word of a man is good in his sight. Mm -hmm. Is it not this? Is it not this? Is it not that? Is it not that? A lot of things are happening. The word of a man is good in his own sight. But the Lord pondered the heart. The Lord is the one directing the heart. The Lord is the one cleansing the heart. The Lord is the one shaking the heart. The Lord is the one moving the heart. Your way may be right in your eyes. That is why you need to take your way and weigh it with the word of God. Thank you for all of you that are writing for me. I'm so grateful. Chidebre, you wrote for me. God bless you. Olusalo, you wrote for me. God bless you. And my daughter Maureen, I've taken her ministry. She's the one that's been doing that for me. God bless you so much. It is well with you. Hallelujah. Why should we delight in calling good evil? That was what the devil was doing. Everything God was doing, devil never loved it. He turns against God. That means whenever you're doing evil, you automatically a seed of darkness. Enemy of the devil. Bible said, he that is born of God does not come in sin. He that is born of God does not come in sin. For the devil sinned. And he sinned from the beginning. He's a liar and father of liars. Do you call good evil? You are then afflicting your soul. You are afflicting your soul. You are destroying yourself. And there was a, a, a barrister, a child of God. She doesn't take all this nonsense. She stands on justice. A case was too hard to knock. They said it's a government barrister. So this case will lie in the court, in the government's hand. They went to bribe the government lawyer so that the case would die. They went and packed money, big money, and wrapped it and said, sir, we'll bring you color. The man said, wonderful. You bring me color. The man said, open it. Let's eat together. You say, they wrapped money in a carton and brought them and said, this is color, sir. The man said, you brought color. Say, open it. I like to eat your collar with it. They say you understand it. They must open this collar. Open this collar. Let's eat together. When they saw he was here, they opened it. It was wrapped of money. Money, 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 money wrapped. Mm. Ah. The man told them this is the collar. Eat now. If you don't pack money and get out here. If you don't get away with this money here. I'll, I'll, I'll call please for you now. Come on, get away. And they foolishly went away with their money. People have bribed a lot of people. People who doesn't take bribe. 
People have taught them how to take bribe. How to eat it. Oh. What a generation are we into? What a generation are we into today? May God show us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May we come out of this mess that we doubled ourselves into. May we come out of it. So that we call good, good, and not calling good, bad. Is it not a normal thing? Sleep with the letter and, I, and he gives you mark. Somebody says it's a sin. He says, I know it's a sin, but do you know what? You're going to repeat another year. Your parents will pay money, this and that. And he never thought of his soul. You can't sleep with the lecturer. I was in one, uh, one program like that. Where I was lodging, I begin to see. I saw a young lady. I saw like a man. I started, from their discussion, I discovered that this man, this lady fed the course. And the lodger I told her to go to so-so-so hotel and book a room. The lady was the one that booked the room. The lady was the one that paid. The lecturer came and messed her up. And smiled and said, you redeem your mark. Ha. And tomorrow the lady will come with a certificate looking for a job. Eh, I finished five years ago, no job. Ten years ago, no job. Fifteen years ago, no job. Why should you have job? When you have sold yourself, when you have defied God, your body, when you have offended God, why should there be job? There should be no job for you. Evil. Abomination. You call it good. Is it not the normal thing? A woman, the child, got pregnant, aborted the baby, aborted, 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 up to three, four times. And people when came to marry, the woman began to say, you're gossiping about my daughter, that she said this, she said this, is that. Is she the first person to commit abortion? Uh, committing abortion, is it a new thing? Have people not been doing it? Why should that of my daughter be a different case? The woman was serious, saying what she was saying. She was serious. Calling evil good. A young lady came to my office one day. I looked at her, I looked at her. Married. I looked at her. And the Holy Ghost ministered something to me. I said, young lady, the Lord said, your husband is abroad, he's not at home. He said, yes. The Lord said, you are taking women to your husband's matrimonial bed. To your matrimonial bed. And you have been defiling the bed. And you have been pouring out blood in abortion. Why are you a murderer? Why are you killing innocent children? The lady picked offense. I said, look at what the Lord said. The Lord said, unless you repent, you will not see the ending of this month. She said, today is already 17th. I said, yes. I said, how many days do these remain to go? But the Lord said, I should tell you. If you don't repent of your evils, if you don't repent of this sin, God is not happy with you. Heaven is not happy with you. Why are you throwing away blood? The lady left my office, walked away. On getting to the door, she just looked at me, sighed. Came back, I sat down. I said, I provoked her. I said, how? She said, you say I'm pushing away blood, doing a manner of abortion. The lady said, it's only three times she has been in abortion. Ha! Why should I say so many times? She said, it's only three times. Killing three people doesn't seem to her like anything. Carrying a man on her husband, matrimonial bed does not do her anything. Evil generation. Heartless generation. The generation that hates Christ and loves the devil. The generation that makes mockery of God and word of God. The mighty hand of God will show us grace. The mighty hand of the Lord will show us direction to Jesus of Nazareth. We have all missed it. Lord Jesus, show us your way. This is a time the deliverer needed deliverance. Hmm. May God show us mercy. Is it a sin? Why should you say it's a sin? Why should you say it's a sin? Who told you that? It's not a sin. Anybody can do it. There were some people that did some, uh, you know, kindness to the poor. They gave them back, uh, they shared rice and politin back and gave them and televised it. You see, our minister is now sharing rice. We're helping the poor. I said, no. I called the son. He used to be close to me. I called him and said, look at what you did. 
This thing you did is quite wrong. You should not have done that. Please don't try this again. I thought I was talking to a reasonable human being. Do you know what she did? She did. Some people went to a motherless baby home. They went to a bag of rice and this. They are pastors. They announce it and they televise it and the whole world have said it that they are doing good. I said, it's not like that. You can do it. I said, if somebody gave you money to do it, you can do it. You televise it and show people, the people, not the whole world. You told me to open borehole. I have opened it. Look at people fetching it. Oh. You brought cloth for me to show to people. Look at it. But that one you are doing for yourself. Why are we broadcasting it? She said, he said, I must be doing it. I have been doing it. I will continue to do it. I said, Toe. I said, go ahead. Well, I know. I have told you what to do. You refuse to do it. Will I kill you? Calling good evil. A lot of men of God are in drunkenness. A lot of children of God are in drunkenness. Is this sin? Who told you it's a sin? I don't know what they call sin. Somebody was uh, having problem with the wife, sacked the wife, the wife to have up to six, seven children for him, and married another lady under one year. And the wife is still alive. A man of God joined hand and wedded them. And when you confront the man of God, they say, is it a sin? Is it a sin? Their eyes will be like this. Is it a sin? Who told you it is a sin? Who told you it is a sin? Righteousness exhausts a nation. Sin is a reproach. May God show us mercy in the name of Jesus. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful above all things. And the Bible said, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The heart is deceitful above all things. How can you be discussing with your brother, discussing with your sister, and you have evil agenda in your heart? Is it not a high time? You say, God, I'm sorry. I will not continue in sin. I will not continue in wickedness. I will not continue in evil. Is it not a high time for you to say, Oh God, watch me, cleanse me and purify me. I don't want to continue in my old way of life. I don't want to continue in my evil ways. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? And Shakespeare said, there is no first, uh, 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 first construction as to know the state of the mind. Somebody could be wicked and smiling. May God show us mercy. May God show us mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at what Jesus told them. Because of the evil heart. Out of heart proceeded evil. Out of the heart proceeded everything negative. Look at the way Jesus was addressing them. The Lord who knows them better spoke to them and said, You are of your father the devil. And the lost of your fathers, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Devil is a liar and father of it. Anytime you're telling a lie, even smaller one, you are a child of the devil. When you tell small lie, you're a small child of the devil. When you tell big one, you're a big child of the devil. Don't tell lies. Stand on integrity, no matter what it will take you. Righteousness exhausts a nature sin is a reproach. May God of heaven assure us grace and abundant grace to flow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God is God of love and power. God is looking for that man. God is looking for that woman. That will say, God, I serve you. And God needed them that will serve him in spirit and in truth. Oh. Look at what happened in Genesis chapter 3 verse 5. 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 For God had known that in the day you eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as good as God, knowing evil, knowing good and evil. Oh, you see how the devil deceived. 
God, no, this tree, tell the daughter eat. The sinful heart. The devil, what God said is bad. The devil come and tell them, that is the best for you. Ah! That is the best. You think that fighting your husband is the best? You think that beating your wife is the best? Who gave you those ideas? Whosoever that is beating the wife is beating his own body. What God called bad, devil told them, it's not true. Any day you eat it, you will see life. You will grow longer. This and this will happen to you. And he deceived them to go into eating it. That is the sinful above all things. And desperately wicked. Who can understand it? The Lord is calling for that man. The Lord is calling for that woman. With deep, sharp understanding. A man, a woman that will say, I will not fear God. I will live for God. I will not take this land. I will not take a double standard. When it is for God, it's for God alone. It's either I am a born again or I am not. Many people are pretending to be born again. Calling evil. You see something that happened. The church of Jesus is supposed to be crying. If it happens, St. Paul will throw himself on the ground and say, why should the man of God do this? Why should this thing happen? But what do all these things are being practiced with the license? Jay! Men are marrying two wives and still coming out with boldness and preaching holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Oh, what a great bondage. What a bondage they are into. May the Lord deliver you from every bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not continue in that bondage. I decree you will not continue in that bondage in Jesus' name. Child of God, you will not continue in that bondage. I say you will not continue in that bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. For righteousness is what exhausts a nation. Oh, righteousness exhausts a nation. Sin is a reproach. Look at what happened. These are the evil people. If we start from verse 22, Romans chapter 1, let's start from 22. Romans 1, let's start from 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. 3, 23. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and to four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to what? Uncleanliness. And through the loss of their, and through the loss of their own heart. To dishonor their own bodies because they, okay, be, between themselves. You see the devil. Righteousness is what exhausts a nation. God will show me and you mercy. So that we don't call good evil and call evil good. When we see evil, we say this is bad. When we say good, we say, oh, praise God, this is good. Don't join deceivers. Don't join destroyers. Don't join bad wagon. Join the train of Jesus. You will have nothing to regret. He will be in charge of your life up and down. Great is his faithfulness. Hallelujah. God will remember us. And God will show us mercy in the name of Jesus. Child of God, have you been calling good evil? Have you been calling evil good? Think about your life. God is faithful. Well and well able. The same mouth you used to say it is bad. In the same mouth you used to say it's good. But it's better you say it is bad and repent and say, oh, this thing is good. If you are not born again, child of God, you don't know what you are missing by having a double standard. You go to this person, this person give you money. You go to this person, this person give you money. Mm. A prostitute came and was swearing. He said that he want to, she wants to swear that she's a virgin. Somebody met her, she said she had been in that profession for five to ten years. And she said, I'm a virgin. Ha! Evil! When a grandmother said she's still a virgin. Do you know what that means? Yes, it can be tell, spoken and tell on. Anything can go here on that. Any surgery can go on. Any forgery can go on. Abomination. May God show us mercy. And may his name be glorified forever. Having spoken this, where are you? 
Have you spoken this? Are you calling good thing good? Or are you calling evil good? Oh, I like it. The way he handled him, the way he smashed him, I like it. This is a child of God that wants to stand. The devil hit him. Use another person, another instrument, hit the person down. You are so happy. Father, show us mercy. Father, show us mercy. Father, show us mercy. May the Lord of heaven head forgive us. May the Lord Jesus forgive us for calling evil good and good evil in the name of Jesus. May we no more have a double tongue. May we no more take in a, a, a double standard. A young boy was in my office. He was to take exam. Nico. I said, you're taking an exam and you want to travel. He said, yes, my daddy has made arrangement for somebody who will go to the hall and sign for the exam for me. Let me travel. Chey! Do you see the world have gone to such evil level? Even the sucklings, even the little children, their father are agitators of most sin these children commit. When you call evil good and call good evil, that means you're saying good thing will not come to you. Light of glory of father will not shine on you. One light that can shine on you can destroy every evil and make it a glitter. Are you watching me right now? Are you in any situation? Because you tell the truth, you are not saved. I tell you, that truth you speak with such a free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shall we begin to pray and meditate? Hmm. Let's pray. Can you begin to say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. I know the covenant I entered with you, I have broken it. Covenant of purity, covenant of holiness, covenant of righteousness, I have broken them all. Show me mercy, O Lord. And may, may I not disgrace you. May I live to do your will, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Can you pray this prayer? Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to say, I want to live for you, I want to live for you. I want to live for the Lord Jesus. If the whole world is running away, tell yourself I will not run away. I will serve that man of war. Man of Calvary. Can you breathe your tongue? Can you repent from the heart of heart? I say, what of all the evil I call good? And what of the, all the good I call evil? Child of God. Or, or upon every good thing your mother is doing for you, your parents are doing. When you see their money, you still steal their money. And they may ask, what is the sense of sending him to school? Oh, may the mighty end of grace show us mercy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May Christ be honored, may Christ be adored forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Lord. To you be the glory, Lord. We worship you, we exalt you, we honor you. We adore, magnify, and glorify your name. Have your way, agent of the days. Maybe you want to say today and from this moment and from this time. You want to live for Jesus and for Jesus alone. Can you say after me? Can you say, Lord Jesus? I'm sorry I am a sinner. Uh, forgive me all my sins, O Lord. And give me grace to live for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray, as many that will say today, you don't want their divine direction and divine direction, Father, that read them by the power of your mind. They will not see evil. They will not fail. They will not quench. The glorious hand of the Lord will see them through. The power of Calvary will come down for them. In the name of Jesus. If you have been a child of God, can you say, Lord Jesus, I am very, very sorry. Forgive me. By omission or commission that I say that something good is bad or something bad is good. I'm sorry about that. Can you confess that? Pray. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mighty man of Allah, I want to thank you again. Oh, I bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for my brethren. I pray for co-pastors. I pray for co-men of God. I pray for the deacon. I pray for the deaconess. I pray for the youth department. I pray for every group in the church. That let there be revival and renewal. Let the power of the Lord come forth and shine. And let the mighty power of Christ be glorified in Jesus' name. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. For unto you be other glory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God must be honored. Amen. And amen and amen. Remember, we're having a seminar. 29, 30, 31. You have not sent your question. Send your question. Let's have a good time. Hmm? Send your question. We're going to answer them. Let's interact again. Let's have a good time. And the mighty hand of grace will keep you. And Christ will be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God will keep you and God will bless you. And the name of the Lord will remain a high tower for you. In the name of Jesus. Until I meet you again. Bye. Wednesday evening. 7 p.m. Nigerian time. Thanks a lot. And God bless you. It's well with a going out and coming in. God bless you.